Namaste everyone. I am your co-host Shauni ma'am. Welcome to your favorite learning channel. The topic for today's video is blood grouping system. So in our previous videos, we learned that blood is a fluid connective tissue and this blood is pumped by our heart and the blood in our body is circulated throughout the body and while it circulates throughout the body it carries various nutrients hormones nutritious substances it carries respiratory gases throughout our body okay so do you know that human beings have different groups of blood so let's today study about these different groups of blood and let's see how can we group the blood into different groups okay so what happens the wbcs we already know are white blood cells these wbcs they have an ability of producing antibodies now what are antibodies antibodies are some special proteins and these special proteins that is antibodies helps our body to fight against foreign substances that are harmful then there are other proteins called antigens so these antigens are actually responsible for the production of antibodies so the antibodies are produced in response to antigens thus for every specific antigen there is a specific antibody okay so based on based on this combination which combination based on the combination of antibody okay so based on the combination of antibody that is present these antibodies are present in the plasma and and the antigens okay these antigens are responsible for producing specific antibodies right so based on this combination that is the antibody that is present in the plasma and the antigens that are present where are they present that are present on the surface of on the surface of red blood cells that is on the surface of rbcs so this combination okay based on this combination human blood can be classified can be classified into human blood can be classified into different groups different groups okay so here we can see different blood type that is different blood groups so this we can call abo grouping system of blood because there are four types here we can see a blood group b blood group ab blood group and o blood group okay so even here we can see the red blood cell type this is for a type for b type for ab type and for o type so now we know that these different groups are made on the basis of the fact that based on the combination of the antigen present in plasma sorry the antibody present in plasma and the antigens that are present on the surface of red blood cells so let's see what happens in the case of group a type of blood so in group a type of blood the antibodies that are present in plasma are anti b antibodies then the type of antigen that is present in red blood cells are a type of antigen 
so when the red blood cells have a antigen on their surface and when the plasma has anti b antibodies then it results in a blood group that is a blood group okay and the compatible blood types for a blood group is the a and the o then for b blood group when does this b blood group form when there is presence of anti a antibody in plasma and b antigen on the surface of rbcs and the compatible blood types for group b blood group is b and o blood groups then let's see the case of ab blood group so in case of ab blood group there is no antibodies present in plasma so the plasma has absolutely no antibodies in case of ab type of blood group whereas on the surface of rbcs we can find both the antigen a as well as antigen b so this ab type of blood group is compatible with all the other blood groups that is a b ab and o so we call this ab positive type of blood group as universal recipient that is the people having ab blood group can receive blood from any of the person having any of the blood groups okay then in case of o blood group we can see that the plasma has both antibodies that is anti a antibody as well as anti b antibody but in case of antigens there are no antigens present on the surface of red blood cells and this o blood group we can call them as universal donor that is the people who have o blood group can donate their blood to any person having any of the blood groups okay so these are different types of blood groups present in human beings okay and this grouping system is based on the fact that if the combination of antibody present in plasma and the antigens present on the surface of red blood cells this combination gives these four types of blood groups in human beings okay then there is rh blood grouping system rh blood grouping system okay so in this rh blood grouping system this is another system of blood grouping here people who have people having what do they have people having the factor protein the factor or we can call it the protein rh we call it rh because it was first developed in rhesus monkeys so from there the term rh has been coined okay so the people who have this factor that is the factor rh on the surface of on the surface of their rbcs this rh is also a type of antigen so such people can be called as rh positive okay and those and those people those people who lack this rh those without this factor without rh factor can be called rh negative okay so they are called rh negative so if an rh negative person receives blood from rh positive person 
then his or her body will develop antibodies against the rh and this can lead to adverse medical conditions okay so it is very important while transfusion of blood it is very important to match the compatibility of different blood groups here we have already seen how different blood groups are co compatible in case of a blood group a person with a blood blood group is compatible with a type of blood group or o type of blood group because we have already discussed that o is a universal donor that is people having o blood group can donate their blood to any person having any of the blood groups then in case of b we saw that b blood group people are compatible with those who have b blood group or o blood group then in case of a b blood group they are compatible with every type of blood group because they do not have any antibodies in plasma whereas their surface antigen present on their rbcs have both a and b antigen so a b positive kind of people are said to be universal recipient that is they can receive blood from any person having any of the blood groups okay so let's now quickly revise the things that we have covered today so we learned that the wbcs the white blood cells actually produce some special proteins called antibodies and these antibodies protect us from foreign harmful substances now there are other proteins called antigens which are actually responsible for the production of these antibodies the specific antigen actually results or evokes the generation of specific kind of antibody so based on the combination of antibody that is present in the plasma and antigens that are present on the surface of the rbcs that is red blood cells the human blood can be classified into different groups here we talked about different groups that is a b ab and o so in case of a blood group here we can see the red blood cell type consisting of the antigens present on their surface okay so in case of a blood group the combination is the people with a blood group have anti b type of antibodies in their plasma and antigen a on the surface of rbcs and they are compatible with other people having a blood group or o blood group in case of people having b blood group their plasma has anti a type of antibody and on the surface of their rbcs they have b antigen and they are compatible with other people having the same b blood group or o blood group then in case of ab type of blood group here the people having ab type of blood group they do not have any antibodies in their plasma but on the surface of the red blood cells they have both antigen a as well as antigen b and these people are called as universal recipient because they are compatible with all the type of blood groups that is a b ab and o then the o blood group the people with o blood group have anti a antibody as well as anti b antibodies in their plasma whereas on the surface of r there are rbcs there are no antigens present and these people having o blood group are called universal donors because they can donate their blood to any people having any of the blood groups okay then we talked about rh blood grouping system here the people who have this factor that is a type of protein called rh protein on the surface of their rbcs they are called rh positive and those people who lack this rh factor on the surface of their rbcs they are called rh negative so while transfusion of blood if an rh negative person receives blood from rh positive person then his or her body will develop antibodies against rh correct 
so this will lead to adverse medical conditions so it is very important to check the compatibility of different blood groups while we perform blood transfusion okay so i hope you all would have got some great insights by watching today's video please do not forget to like and share the video till then thank you for watching